Yo guys, what is up? Malin Malle here with a new video. Today I will show you some calisthenics exercises for beginners. So there will be eight different exercises in total divided into two different workouts. The first four exercises will be pull workout and the other four exercises is gonna, going to be push workout. So make sure to get at least one day of rest in between each of these two workouts. Now I will show you the four first exercises, which will be the pull workout. So the first exercise is incline rows, where you need a low bar. Place your hands on the bar slightly outside shoulder width and keep your legs straight. First activate the scapula by retracting it, then start pulling yourself up. Make sure that the hip is not moving. If you want an easier version, bend your legs and do exactly the same. The next one is negative pull-ups where you need a high straight bar. Use a box beside the bar to stand on and jump from. Now place your hands on the bar shoulder width and jump up until you have the chin over the bar. Now bring yourself as slowly as possible all the way down to dead hang. The third exercise is pull-ups with resistance band. Put your feet in a resistance band that's tied up on a high straight bar. Place your hands shoulder width on the bar, depress the scapula and start pulling yourself up with the back muscles. Get at least the chin over the bar before you go back down again. Make sure to keep your legs straight and core tight throughout the whole movement. And the last one is toes to bar or leg raises where you need a high straight bar. Start from dead hang, lift your legs as high as possible while remaining straight legs. The compression is the key in this move, which means suck in the belly button towards the spine when lifting the legs. So that was the pull workout. Now I will show you the four next exercises, which will be the push workout. The first exercise is push-ups. Place your hands slightly outside shoulder width, keep your core tight and try to stand on your feet. When going down in the push-up, Aim for a 45 degree angle between your elbow and your body. If this is too hard, the push-ups can of course be done on your knees. The next one is handstand hold against the wall. Walk up with your hands facing the wall and place your hands as close as possible to the wall. Spread your fingers, extend your shoulders by pushing away from the ground, have straight arms, use compression, squeeze the glutes and point your toes. The third one is dips, where you need parallel bars. If it's too hard, the dips can be done with a resistance band under your feet. When going down in the dip, lean a bit forward to get a 90 degree angle in the elbow. Keep your core tight and try to go down at least 90 degrees. And the last one is the full body exercise, burpees. When you're down in the push-up, I prefer touching the belly and chest to the ground before you go back to the jump again. These two workouts are beginner friendly and can be done in the gym or at home if you have the right equipment. Make sure to focus more on the technique and the quality of the repetitions more than quantity to prevent injuries. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment. And I'll see you next time.